friends so i'm back with another vlog uh, your friend ashwin kakera <clears throat> with the usual suspects that's my son dhruv behind the camera and sitting behind is my wife and our adorable dog caesar uh, so today we are going to mysore now i've already done a vlog on mysore so what's different this time well two things number 1 we are traveling in my new car which is a jeep compass and i've done a vlog on that as well earlier uh second thing we are not going to take the usual ramnagara mandya uh, road you know so there's a different route which which goes through uh for that you have to take the mangalore or rather bangalore mangalore highway you travel 80 kilometers on that road and uh, there's a toll called uh, in devi halli so after devi halli toll you have to take a left turn and uh, another 80 kilometers and you are in mysore and i tried this road a couple of days back it took me 2 hours and i didn't even go above 120 it took me 2 hours to reach that place that is mysore fantastic road no traffic uh, and and there are no ditches nothing it's a very beautiful road we are going to try the same road again and i'm going to show it to you uh from a time perspective we are uh, currently at 7:15 we left our place at around 7 o'clock uh, but we will do some birding on the way we also have to have breakfast so i would say uh, and are one and a half hours for that probably will reach by 10:30 so which is a good enough time so keep watching and uh, hope you enjoy it we have just taken the left turn on the bangalore mangalore highway uh it is 7:30 now so in half an hour we reach this place Uh, well there have been some questions as to where i stay in bangalore so that people get a fair idea of uh, when i say i left from home where have i left from so basically i stay uh, in a place uh, near manuta tech park so somewhere near uh, around 8 kilometers from hebal so that will give you a fair idea of uh, how many kilometers i have traveled but just to let you know I have traveled 37 kilometers from my home and probably another 80 kilometers here on this road then from Devi Halli left another 80 kilometers there so yeah we are on track to reach by 11 o'clock and then we will continue further to Bandipur I mean we are not staying in any resort or anything because we have Caesar with us and uh, obviously pets are not allowed in all those resorts over there so we will just go on that road which passes through the bandipur jungle and then we'll come back that's about it so because we have to reach bangalore back by evening or uh, at least by 9 pm uh, so let's see how this goes uh, just just a little bit about the car itself uh, so last time when we went uh, i purposely did not drive over 120 kilometers and i stayed within the 2000 rpm range and this car gave me a mileage of almost 14.5 kilometers and uh, that is uh, also in the ac full time ac which i thought was really good because i wasn't getting that kind of mileage even on my eco sport and why do i see so much traffic here oh wow we are at least a half a kilometer away the toll gate and i'm pretty sure this is the toll traffic okay guys i'll catch you back let me just figure out how to get away from this <laughs>
so we have stopped here for breakfast now uh, it's a place called uh, Bakshala last time we had stopped at uh, Dhru Dhruvatare but looking at the traffic over here it seemed as if there will be too much rush over there so we found this place called uh, Bakshala if you can see this well it's uh, probably five kilometers before Dhruvatare and uh, I just had my breakfast it's good uh, very good in fact so if you are ever on this Bangalore Mangalore highway you could try out Pakshala and uh, I'm waiting for Dhruv and my wife Kavita to finish their breakfast and come over uh, till that time me and Caesar are just waiting over here Caesar Caesar what are you doing what? What do you want? What do you want? No, don't, don't come out. Okay, wait, I'll show. And here is Caesar. No, you can't come out. You stay there. Okay, so uh, our next stop is going to be a small half an hour birding stint. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can find some new birds, some good birds. Keep watching. We have reached Devi Halli toll. Now, probably a kilometer or two after this toll is where we will have to take the left turn to go towards Mysore. So, remember, guys, Devi Halli toll. And once we reach that left turn, uh, I'll show it to you again. Even less than a kilometer away after the Devi Ali toll, this is the left turn that we have to take, and probably another 70 to 80 kilometers, and you will be in Mysore. Now, one more thing that you should keep in mind uh, this road is 25 kilometers more than the normal route that you would take from Mandya and all. But because there is very less traffic on this road, you actually reach earlier. So please keep that in mind. And this also seems to be a good place to stop for birding. So probably we will do that in another 5-10 minutes. This is the road. How This is how it looks. The one which connects the Bangalore Mangalore Highway to Mysore. And as you can see, it's a two-lane road, but the condition is very good. It's all greenery around. And 60-70 uh, kilometers you can easily cover in uh, less than an hour on this. There are a few villages which you will see on the way. Just need to be careful over there, otherwise the entire road is like this. May not be a four lane highway, but it's good. So, one of the towns that we will encounter uh, while we go to Mysore from here is uh, Naga Mangla. And from what I had written or what I had read about it, seems to be a town of temples. So, yeah, good road. And uh, time wise it is 9.30 now, so if I don't stop anywhere and just continue, I can reach Mysore before 10.30. But as I had said earlier, need to do some birding, but it's already getting a little bit hot, so I don't know if that's going to happen.
the road which uh, we took from Mangalore Bangalore Highway is now going to culminate here and we are going to reach Shirangapatna. From the time perspective, it is 11 o'clock and we almost did time pass of like one and a half hours. So assuming we hadn't done that, uh, after leaving Bangalore at 7 o'clock, I would have reached Shirang Patna at 9.30 a.m. So from this you can figure out that this road is really nice and you would have seen the views, you would have seen the road. It is a Muska road and I think every time I am going to come to Mysore, I am going to take this road. I am not going to take the Mandya road because I have had some really bad experiences in terms of traffic on that road. But this, I just love this road now. So if anyone going anywhere uh, near Mysore anytime, please try out this road and I am sure you will like it. So here is where Sriranga Patna should be. So just, just hang in there, we are right about there. So finally we've reached the place we had to come to Mysore. It's basically University of Mysore where my wife had some work and uh, it's 11.30 that we've reached here. So three hours Bangalore to Mysore using the new road. Now here we have another hour's work and once that is done uh, probably we'll have some lunch in Mysore itself and then uh, you know, go towards Bandipur. It's 1.30 now, 1.30 p.m. and we finished our work in uh, University of Mysore. We've had lunch in Mysore itself. Uh, there's a place called Sipoy Grande and it's just on the outskirts of Mysore if I'm not mistaken now. And uh, they have a restaurant on the fifth floor, Sipoy's Kitchen. It's, it's good. Uh, we had chicken and chicken gravy and biryani and it was uh, pretty tasty and now we are on the way to Bandipur. I have not checked it but I guess it should take us around hour, hour and a half to reach the Bandipur gate. Uh, so let's see if we can, we can get to see some animals at least and I am sure we will see some spotted deers. Uh, but some gores or elephants that would be an icing on the cake so enjoy Bandipur as you would have seen the Bandipur gate uh, this road goes in like this at least 15-20 uh, kilometers inside which covers Bandipur and Madhumulai so we're just gonna go take a drive in 
uh, see if we can be lucky. Okay, so we are, we did spot some spotted deers already. Let's hope we get to spot something else other than just spotted deer. We are back to the Nagamangla road. We are just going to reach the Mangalore Bangalore highway in around 3 kilometers. And uh, what a beautiful evening. It was a fun, it was fun driving on this road with uh, such a beauty around. The evening skies uh, really showed all its colors. And uh, with that, uh, we come to the end of this vlog because from here it might take me around uh, another hour and a half or two, two hours to reach home and it's a straight simple road uh, which we've already done so there's no point taking you through it. Uh, so thank you all for watching the vlog and not just this one, even my earlier ones and uh, keep those encouraging words uh, pouring in. I love some of your comments and uh, if you like this vlog please keep sharing and keep coming back for more. Uh, 
thank you everyone. This is me Ashwin with my son Dhruv, my wife Kavita and our Caesar signing off. Take care.